story time. So, yeah, this story takes place when I was in grade eight. Fuck my ass! So I had actually forgotten about the story. Um, I actually seen this person and it like jolted that story back into my brain. So yeah, this takes place in grade eight and um, it's about the time me and my whole class made a teacher cry because we bullied her so fucking bad. So in grade eight, okay, I don't know if I touched upon this at some point in these videos or not, but our grade eight teacher was brand new to the, like, to the school. We were her first class. And I go back and visit her every once in a while and she still tells me that like we were her worst fucking class. But uh, I'll go more on that in a different story most likely. Anyways though, so fucking like a month into the school year, our teacher was like rollerblading with her dog. She broke her fucking back. Yeah, fucking intense. So we had like a multitude of different supply teachers and then we eventually got like one permanent supply teacher. So yeah, but I'm not focusing on that because that, that, that permanent supply teacher was fucking awesome. So we had this supply teacher, okay? Fuck, I feel bad for this teacher, okay? So she came in one day, and I, I, I think we had her two days in a row. I'm not too sure. I feel like we had her more than one. But anyway, she comes in, and she's got two buns on the back of her head right there. And for those of you who are probably my age or up and have seen the Star Wars trilogies, Princess Leia has that, okay? This fucking teacher walked in, my dudes. She looked... Like a fucking, she looked identical. Somebody's staring at me. She looked identical to Princess Leia from Star Wars, okay? And I'm not talking about the new movies that have just come out. I'm talking about like from like what, the 80s and the 90s and the 70s? Those fucking movies? That Princess Leia. She looked like that one. So, of course, me. I, I started, I'm pretty sure I fucking started it, like everything that went wrong while the supply teacher was here. So of course I'm giggling for the majority of the day, going <laughs> And eventually I just kind of popped up and go, ooh, the force is strong as when it is. And everybody just fucking lost their shit. Because I I mentioned to Steve that like, hey, like this bitch looks like Princess Leia. And I, I mentioned to Justin, hey, this bitch looks like Princess Leia. And by the middle of the day, the entire class was like, yo, this bitch looks like Princess Leia. So now the entire class is making like smart ass little remarks at the fact that she looks like fucking Princess Leia. Like this one kid, I'm not going to give him a name because I don't have any stories that involve him anyways. So this one kid fucking like actually like asked, asked her where Luke Skywalker was. And she just... I think, like, something clicked. S something, something clicked. <laughs> okay, something fucking clicked. Because, like, she got immediately fucking hostile, okay? Now, I forget. Now, Steve said something to Princess Leia, okay? I don't know what Steve said. I cannot recall it. But she fucking grabbed Steve's desk, dragged it across the fucking classroom, faced it against the wall, and made him sit there. You know what she fucking called it? She called it the fucking desk of discipline. Or the wall of discipline. One of those two. It was something discipline. And Steve had to sit there for the rest of the fucking day. And the other kid that asked her where Luke Skywalker was had to fucking sit against the uh, face in the wall of discipline too. So that was just fucking great. But in all honesty, like now that I'm older, I do feel bad for her. Because like we, we genuinely bullied this fucking supply teacher. Like the entire fucking class. The only... The only person that didn't bully Princess Leia, I just have a burp there. The only one that didn't bully Princess Leia that day was Steve's girlfriend that he only had for like a month. Sorry for that under the bridge throw, buddy, but yeah. She was the only one that didn't fucking bully her. The rest of us fucking did. It was a 7-8 split, so there was like 28 fucking kids in the class, and 27 of them fucking called her Princess Leia, bro. Yeah, by the end of the day, like, she was in tears. Like, straight up, honestly. Like, sorry, Princess Leia. <laughs> oh, and at some point in the day, one of us fucking blurted out a goddamn Chewbacca sound. So that was, that was a little icing on the fucking cake right there. It, my dude so with that being said like comment subscribe um yeah 
That's about it. Bye! Yo, my dude, side note, okay? So, I'm just getting off work, which is why I look like fucking shit. But, so, <laughs> funny story. Funny, funny little work story. So, I work with this kid, and he's pretty chill. He's still in high school. But, um, it was pretty busy, okay? And he was in the pork section, serving customers raw pork, like pork ribs and shit. And the tray was empty, so he pulled it out, and he dipped his hand with a glove on, obviously. Dipped his hand in, in the pork blood, the pork blood, and slapped me on the back with it to leave a handprint. He then looks at me with a straight face and goes, cow slap! All I did was fucking look back at him and I'm like, cow slap, eh? With pork ribs? <laughs> and then he looks at me, he's like, no, Keith, man, I didn't mean it. I, did, I didn't mean it. I, 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 I meant pork. I'm tired. I was in school all day. And I'm like, man, you better fucking stay in school. <laughs>